Hi, and thanks for joining us. Today we're going to be looking at the TNT Prims Interface Basics. I would say out of all the TNT Prims tutorial videos, this one is the most essential one to watch because we go over some fundamental concepts. So let's dig right into it. So let's first define, what do I mean by interface? Well, you see this prim here? When I touch it, an interface pops up. See this red prim here? This is actually an interface. An important thing to understand is this is actually not the same prim that was just there. This is a different prim. This is an interface prim. So I know you're asking now, how do I get my prim back if that's not my prim? All you do is on the HUD, you click deactivate and voila, there's your prim back. So let's go over this one more time. You click a TNT prim, it brings up the interface. You click deactivate, it removes the interface. Pretty simple. Okay, let's explain active prims and not active prims. This is a term you're going to hear a lot through the tutorial videos on the TNT prims. So this is an important concept to understand as well. Now when you bring up the interface, the first prim you touch is actually the active prim. Every prim you touch after that is a non-active prim. Pretty easy. Now you might be asking, well, how can I tell at a glance which prim is an active prim and which prim isn't? Well, if you look at the first prim I touched here, this one here, you can see it's got a slight glow to it. This actually indicates that this is the active prim. All other prims you can see don't have this glow. They're non-active prims. So at a glance, you can take a look at the TNT prims, the interfaces that are up, and anything that's got a slight glow to it is the active prim. If for some reason you don't see the glow on the active prim, then you actually need to go in and change your preferences. Just click Edit, Preferences, go to the Graphics tab, make sure the Customs checkbox is checked, and then check Basic Shaders, then click OK. So what's the significance of being an active prim as opposed to being a non-active prim? An active prim will always be the one that actually has the changes applied to it. So if you're in snap mode and you want to line one prim up to another, you would touch the one that you want to move first to make it the active prim, and then you would touch the other one to make it the non-active prim, and then you would use snap mode to align them. So just to rehash that, the first one you touch is the one you want to make changes to. It'll be the active prim, and all the ones you touch after that will be non-active prims. So you might be asking now, what if I want to change what prim is the active prim? Do I have to remove the interface and bring them back up? No. There's actually several ways you can change which prim is active. First off, on the HUD, on the menu side, you can see the new active button. If you click that, the next prim you touch will become the active prim. So you can change which prim is active without having to remove the interface. Oh, but I made it even easier than that. By double clicking a non-active prim, it will become an active prim. So of course that begs the question, what happens if you double click an active prim? Well, that removes the interface completely. So that's another way to remove the interface as well. So you can double click a non-active prim to make it an active prim, and you can double click an active prim to remove the interface. So let me show you a quick example of this. I'm touching this prim here to make it the active prim. Now all these other ones I'm touching, they're going to become non-active prims. Okay, I'm going to snap this one up, and then I'm going to double click a non-active prim to make it active to snap it up as well. Now, if all this is coming off as a bit overwhelming and confusing, trust me, once you get in and you start to play with it, you'll find it very intuitive. Something else worth mentioning, when you touch a spot on an interface, a pin will pop up. Now, if you ever make a mistake, touch the wrong spot, or just change your mind altogether, you can actually touch that pin to undo that touch. couple other quick things I want to show you before we let you go. If you actually take a look on the side of each one of these interfaces, you'll see this little more button here. When you click this, it actually brings up a menu. I tried to really add options here that I thought you might need to use while building. 
For example, you can change your modes by clicking the mode button. You can change the active prim. You can remove the interface by clicking deactivate. There's also help and the back button. That just takes you back the way it was before the menu came up. Got one other thing I want to cover real quick. Now, as I mentioned earlier, this prim, this interface prim, is not actually your prim. Now, right off the bat, you might think that that's going to restrict me. I mean, what if I wanted to do a shift and drag? You can do a shift and drag on an interface. It'll actually rebuild and replace the prim, putting a brand new one in there. There's just one caveat to this. You don't want to shift copy more than, say, 10 interface prims at a time. It just can't rebuild that many prims in a reasonable time. So let me show you exactly what I mean by this. I'm going to click each one of these TNT prims to res up the interface. Now I'm going to select each one of these interface pieces and holding shift, I'm going to drag up and copy them. Now usually when you do this, you're building a house and you're not going to remove the interface right away as I want to do right now. We actually want to wait just a few seconds so that the HUD can actually res up a new prim, put a prim inside this interface, and then applies all the attributes of the original prim that the interface that we copied is for. I know, that's a mouthful right there. But all you got to know is, if you do do a shift and copy, at least wait five seconds before removing the interface. That way you can rebuild the new prim. And there you go. You can see all the prims are there after I remove the interface. It also copied over textures and colors and all the other attributes of the prims as well. So shift copy in an interface is okay to do. Just don't do more than 10 at a time and wait a few seconds before removing the interface. So let's quickly review everything we've just gone over about the interface. One, the first one you touch is the active prim. All others are the non-active prims. The active prims are the ones that move, they snap. They're the ones that are gonna have changes applied to them. You can double click a non-active prim to make it an active prim. You can double click an active prim to actually remove the interface. You can actually shift copy an interface, but don't do t t more than 10 at a time. And wait a few seconds before removing the interface. And there's also the more buttons, which gives you access to a bunch of functions that you'll find very useful while building. Thanks for watching. If you ever have any problems or questions about this, feel free to give me an IM. Be sure to also watch all the rest of the videos. And until next time, happy building.